welcoming in studio Renaud Garcia Fons. Welcome to the caravan. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much, too. I was looking a little bit about your background. You really uh, you started as uh, a child playing piano before you moved over to the bass. Was that, yeah, was that yeah right? it was like a, a very past and novel life, you know. This is true. I, I started with piano, classical guitar, but uh, since the age of 16, uh, I dedicated all my energy to this big wood instrument, the double bass. Yeah, well, that, uh, that can be a travel hindrance, I, you know. Traveling it with needs, a bass. It needs some endurance. <laughs> yeah, this is so true. So you come from Catalonia? I come from Paris. From Paris, But yes. this is true. My parents born in Spain, in Catalonia. Okay. So I have a Spanish, Catalonian, but I will say Spanish cultural background. Even I feel also absolutely French, so I am happy with the two different cultures, I mean. Do you feel that your music is inspired more from from one part or the other, or do you well, find any sort of musical? You know, I like to say that there is no border in music, and I listen to all kind of music since I am a little boy. So I think my musical uh, background is really wide, and in that case, I don't feel it's more Spanish or French or whatever, you know. Yes, yes. So it must be it must be quite an experience playing a full solo bass concert, yes? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no place to hide, as they say. You're, it's just you and your bass yes. and the audience. And it's such an unusual setting for a yeah. musician with your instrument. Well, it needs a lot of preparation, concentration, energy, of course. Uh, I start, uh, my first record was a solo one 20 years ago. So uh, I think it's something important that we can show to people that uh, I hope we, we can make interest for people during one hour and 15 minutes with just a bass, you know. And uh, always it's a challenge. It's never done, but uh, I like very much. And it's very complementary of with all my other work. I mean, when I play with different bands, I compose for trio, quartet, large ensemble, chamber music also. But I'm always very, it's very important for me to come back al always each time also to the solo, which is good discipline. Well, thank you for bringing your instrument with you today. Why don't we hear some of your solo performance live here in the studio? What, what would you like to play for us? Uh, I will play um, quite old piece of I, but uh, I think it is very emblematic piece because I use different techniques. And the title is Aha John, which is mostly inspired by uh, Iranian music and also Indian music on the end. Okay, well, let's have a listen to Renaud Garcia Fons and his bass right here on the caravan. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was wonderful. Thank you so much. The, uh, while you're in town, you're going to be visiting with some, some youth who play instruments as well as some bassists, as I understand it. Yeah. You're going to be playing Friday at the uh, Rainier Valley Cultural Center on Rainier Avenue with some young musicians. And then Saturday night at 8 o'clock at Town Hall to benefit Hope Urban Farms. Mm -hmm. And I believe on Saturday morning as well with some local basis as well so you're going to be quite busy the next few yeah, days yeah i think so <laughs> looks like and sunday on maple falls at the base of mount baker opening the maple falls world music festival that's right on sunday as well and information is available at hopeurbanfarms.org or at renault's website his personal website also has information renault garcia fonds and you can check at our website to link to that if you wish so when you meet with young musicians, how do you how do you explain some of the arco technique that you've developed, which is just so unique? Is it something that they can learn, or is it is it yeah. really just a discussion of? No, of course, of course, it's something you can learn. It takes uh, time. It takes uh, a lot of practice, practicing in certain way, and uh, well, I try to communicate as as the best as I can, you know, because anyway, you have to to teach somebody, it's not to only to show, it's to help him to teach himself, you know, by himself, you know. So most of the time I start by just playing and then answer to question and show different as aspects of my technique. This is what I do when I make some clinics for two or three hours. Of course, it will be different if it's really a master class with maybe one week and if I can work separately with each student. But in that case, I think it's 
well, show how I can play uh, the music, uh, different aspects of the technique. They are, these are the main, main ways. Yeah. And inspire them to keep going because music is a, exactly. a lifelong adventure. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a long adventure. Yeah. <laughs> what are your musical projects now? What are you focusing on? Oh, uh, well, I have so many, but uh, the, the next one uh, will be, because many people know me about Marisian music, Oriental music, or world music, but the next project will be dedicated to Paris. Because I born in Paris, I grew up really near Montmartre, and I have very good memory souvenir of that time, you know. So I would like to make a music in, in, in parallel with the, this old Paris and the new one, which is very cosmopolitan. You know, so I mean, I can use some elements of the traditions. Even the bass is not really traditional melodic instrument, solo melodic instrument, and in parallel and in mix with the new music in Paris, with different aspects of Maghrebian music, African music, whatever jazz, of course. It has. I, I've just noticed over the last five to ten years, Paris has become a real center for world musicians. Certainly. I think in par partially because uh, many French-speaking Africans will travel there and it's created a real community of global artists, yeah. but also out of um, South Asia, Middle East as well. Yes, I think, like, I think many big cities now in the world, because uh, um, we have many people coming from different countries, but also we have a tradition of culture in France, in Paris, you know. And uh, we have a lot of creations. We have a lot of theater, cultural center, and make possible make possible this kind of meeting people, making music or, or, or dance or whatever. And uh, well, this is kind of very good place for for meeting music. Simply, you know, for years, for years and years now, you have many people coming in the 80s, for example, from Argentina, Uruguay. So you have some good composers. You have some. Well, it's really. Very interesting. Well, you have a, uh, a release out, a solo release called The Marceval Concert, which yeah. is captured and also a DVD as part yeah, of the Yeah, it's a recording. DVD also. It's a live capture in, in beautiful Priory, Marceval Priory, which is in south of France in the Pyrenees? mountains. Yes, Pyrenees, mm -hmm. near the Spanish border, near the Mediterranean Sea. And this is a starting point because my solo concert is like um, a journey, you know. So it starts, yes, in the north, in the south of France and go to Spain, then go to many parts of the world. I mean, I imaginary. Well, it's a pleasure having you here. If you're just joining us, we're uh, listening to and talking to Renaud Garcia Fons, who is in town and playing a town hall this Saturday at 8 o'clock as a fundraiser for Hope Urban Farms. HopeUrbanFarms.org is the website, or you can link to it at our website, kbcs.fm. We have time for one more, if you don't mind. I will play, yeah, something very simple. It was a melody inspired by Kurdish music. Kurdish music, yes. Oh, excellent. And uh, for people, I would say it's a seven-bit pattern <laughs> melody.
was wonderful. Thank you so much for visiting us on the caravan. All good fortune for your visit here with musicians, old and young, and Sam, for all of your good work at Hope Urban Farms. Again, we've been talking to and listening to the bass of Reno Garcia Fons. He'll be performing live at Town Hall this Saturday at 8 p.m. More details at our website, kbcs.fm. Thank you.